One of the new features in the Improvements Update is the ability to send your business documents direct from Sage Accounts to OneDrive. This feature is only available if you're using Sage 50C accounts and you've integrated with Office 365. It's really easy to set up in the software, however you must be logged in as manager to access the setup. So to start with we go into Settings and then you choose OneDrive Document Settings. You'll then specify your storage preferences and also the layouts that you want the settings to apply to. For the purpose of the demonstration we'll just click OK at this point and then we'll confirm that we want to apply the changes. To demonstrate how the option works we'll select an invoice and we'll print it. We'll then just browse for the layout that we want to use, select it and print it. We'll accept all of the defaults. We'll then close out of the layouts list, back to the invoices list and that's it done. At this stage there's no symbol in the view column and also the view on OneDrive icon isn't active. And that's because the data hasn't yet synced with Office 365. Once your data has synced, the little icon will be available in the view column and also the view on OneDrive icon will then become active. To view a PDF copy of the invoice, we can just click view on OneDrive and the PDF copy of the invoice appears. There are also a number of other ways to access the PDF copy of the invoice. For example, we can log into our Office 365 account access OneDrive, select my company on the left, in this case Demo Core 50. You then open the Sage Artifacts folder, choose Customer, select the relevant customer account reference, the relevant transaction type, so in this example a sales invoice, and then in this example it was sales invoice number one. So if we click on it, we can then view the PDF copy of the invoice. Now remember, as this invoice is stored in Microsoft OneDrive, we can access it from any PC where we have an internet connection, just by simply logging into our Office account and then browsing to OneDrive and following the same path through to view the PDF file. If we close out of Office 365, back to Sage Accounts and with the invoice still selected we'll update the ledgers. If we just preview the report click OK and close the update ledgers preview window. If we now go into transactions you'll see that transaction 75 is a sales invoice it refers to invoice number one so it's the invoice that we've just updated to the ledgers and it's selected so we'll click view on OneDrive and we can view the PDF copy of the invoice. As the PDF document is linked to the transaction we can also view those PDFs and access them from within the activity windows as well. So if we go into customers, we'll select the customer, view the activity tab and with transaction 75 selected we can click view on OneDrive and this gives us instant access to the PDF copy of the invoice. The PDF documents can also be accessed in other areas, one of which is the Sage Contact Add-in. More information about this is available via our Help Centre.